All right, it's the Brook of That Gratitude Guy. Good days, bad days. I remember there was a lyric in a song once that said, I've had good days and bad days and going half mad days. People ask me all the time, well, how come you're in such a good mood one day and a bad mood the next? Not meaning me, but them or anybody they've come in, a, in contact with or just in general. And I said, well, you know, I've talked to doctor friends of mine before and people that know about this and the physiology, uh, physiological aspect of the human being and it's, it's sleep and it's energy and it's food and it's water. And I remember once it was biorhythms and it's uh, how you take care of yourself. Do you get exercise and so forth? But here's one thing I know. As I've watched the good and bad days of my life, if you want to have more good days than bad days, embrace gratitude. There's something about reframing and refocusing everything in your life that talks about what you have versus what you don't have. And it'll increase the amount of focus on all those good things, everything that you're grateful for, everything you're appreciative of, and everything that you're thankful for. And when you continue to focus on that, it creates a better frame of mind, a better mindset, and overall, a better attitude. You will definitely have more good days than bad days. So think about that the next time you're having a bad day. Write in that gratitude journal. You'll be amazed. I talk about a daily number I have people write every day about to describe their mood. How much by talking about what you're grateful for, that number will jump from a five to a six to a seven or eight or a nine just by writing down everything you're grateful for. So the next time you're wondering about good days and bad days and even going half mad days, write in that gratitude journal, get grateful, you'll notice a difference immediately. That's the message for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a grateful day.